Hello everyone and welcome back. Oh, finally get done updating the game. The new anniversary came out. Ooh, Bajoran Interceptor. I'll check that out later. some of these projects going. Hey, Batman, welcome back.
Daemon has decrypted the coordinates for the new link. They designate a location in the Alpha Quadrant, in the Araya system. This changeling, named Lux, has deceived the other changelings in his link into thinking we are exterminating them, and that we massacred the Gamma Quadrant changelings as well. You must have Naaman help you convince them of the truth. How can I help you? We have arrived in the Araya system. There's M class planet ahead. I'm attaching Jemadar vessels in the vicinity. I doubt they'll be able to allow us to reach the planet unscathed. Acknowledged. The Jemadar will not likely be interested in negotiation. I'm afraid you'll have to fight your way What a waste. Still, the nice thing about your radar is that you can always breathe more. Oh, 
Okay, let's finish off this battleship. Alright, let's beam down. We arrived at Arias, sir. I'm checking Jemadar life signs. We should be on our guard. Of course. You have to admire the devotion of the Jemadar. They never seem to tire of throwing their lives away. For the Founders. <laughs> there it is. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. To think my gods slumber below, dreaming in their link.
It's almost sacrilegious to have you here. I hope the founders will understand the necessity of Forgive me. To whomever finds this pad, know you are reading is an act of disobedience and if you are reading this I am most likely dead. We are programmed to believe the founders are gods and infallible, but lately I have begun to question Loss's orders. Some of his explanations no longer make sense. For example, we have been monitoring transmissions from local systems and none of them mention any cr this crusade against the founders. One of my brothers says he went to a facility where Ketrasol White is manufactured. He said there was a Vorta there, but this Vorta is almost a prisoner and does not command the Jemadar there. Still, obedience brings victory and victory is life. Who are we to question the motives of a god? When a god lies, is it still a lie? I would say yes. The other Vorta are going to be so envious when they hear about this. Have you come to finish the job of exterminating us, Solid? We are not here to hurt you. You have been deceived by Loss. Impossible. We have linked with Loss. He is in the link as we speak. We know all that he knows. He must have some way of deceiving you. It is true that he awoke before us. Let us summon him to answer these charges. We have our own witnesses as well. It's true, Great One. These people are not hunting you. The Great Link remains. The Dominion has a treaty with the Alpha Quadrant species. This creature lies. You have joined with me. You know all that I know. Then you should have no qualms about linking. No. These solids have poisoned your minds. I will not be forced to link by them.
Oh, stop grabbing me. Although it is unfortunate we had to resort to violence to force loss into his liquid form, we are grateful for your assistance. We shall now be able to link with him and learn the whole truth of our past. If you are telling the truth, you have nothing more to fear from us. But we request that you leave us in peace. We have no interest in dealing with your kind. I hope in time you'll change your mind, but we shall respect your wishes. Well, it has been a pleasure knowing you. I will remain here and serve the Founders. They have been without Avorta and have much to learn about their siblings in the Gamma Quadrant. I know the Founders may seem ungrateful to you, but what can you expect from a god? Still, you have my gratitude, for whatever the gratitude of an insignificant servant is worth. Safe journeys, Naaman. <coughs> Sir Jimmy and our dreadnought warping in, they're hailing us. On screen. Although you have slain our brothers, we have orders to allow you to leave the system, but you are never to return. And let it be known among your peoples that this system belongs to us, and you are not welcome. Fear not, we shall leave you in peace. Sir, so we want our poro well to beacon to warn other ships not to approach the system. I found a good location. Agreed. Lay in a course. I hope I did not mean to launch fires. Ready to depart? Yes. Congratulations! You have defeated the true way and made peace with the Alpha Changelings. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, advising them to avoid the Araya system. I have one final request for you. Please return to DS9 at your convenience, so that I may thank you personally. My name is Commander Messi Achebe. And I was authorized by your High Council to contact you. By now, you've faced the Borg. The Collective is appearing with more frequency in the Alpha Quadrant now, and Defera is facing repeated attacks. We've been able to push them back so far, but we can't do it forever. Not without help. Starfleet is organizing a meeting on DS9 to discuss the Borg situation. Representatives from Starfleet, the Cardassians, and the Deferi will be present. 
Your Chancellor is sending a representative as well. We want you to be there to represent the Klingon forces fighting the Collective. We have our differences, but some problems are simply too big to ignore. Agreed. Welcome to DS9. I know you're here for the conference, but Commander Andrews would like to see you in ops as soon as you have the time. Alright, let's go. Welcome to DS9. I'm Commander Karen Andrews, Captain Carlin's first officer. He asked me to inform you that he has been delayed dealing with an incident in Cargo Bay 3. Also, I must remind you, you are here as our guest. I don't expect any trouble, but it never hurts to remind someone about the rules. Our people were allies once. That may not be the case now, but at the very least we can be civil to one another. Unfortunately, we won't be able to begin the conference until Captain Curlin is available. I wonder, would you be willing to track down the other attendees and inform them of the delay? I can send a junior officer, but I thought this would way this way you would get a chance to meet the delegates before the formal talks begin. Every little bit of connection or information helps in a diplomatic situation. I'm looking forward to the conference and what your government has to say about the Borg. While I agree the Borg are indeed a threat, I'm not entirely clear as to what you expect the Ditapa Council to do about it. If you will remember, we dismantled our military after the Dominion War and only maintain a small force for planetary defense. Those ships you may have seen were stolen from my government by the true way. Regrettably, Starfleet has yet to put a stop to their campaign of terror. Captain Crown has been unavoidably, de unavoidably detained. We will delay the start of the conference until he is ready. Being here on Deep Space Nine reminds me of my mentor, Gul Mavek, who was stationed here during the Dominion occupation. During his time here, he came across a peculiar drink, Bajoran Distilled Canar. Apparently, during the Cardassian occupation, the soldiers wanted their favorite libation, but there was not enough Canar in the shipments from home. So these resourceful young officers conscripted a group of Bajorans, mostly from the religious houses, to distill Canar for them. The Kanar from Bajor has a different color and flavor from the best Cardassian vintages because of the local ingredients used in its distillation. 
Nevertheless, many of the officers who drank it developed quite a taste for this Bajoran pleasure. It is impossible to find a similar vintage on Cardassia Prime, and I want to present a bottle to my mentor and friend, Gul Mavek, upon my return to the homeworld. It would mean so much to him, and I would be most grateful to anyone who could assist me in this small task. I'll see if I can find any. Now I know who has it, but I did a mission for him first. Greetings. My name is Sarah, and I speak for the Deferi. Until recently, my people isolated ourselves from the rest of the galaxy in an attempt to remain neutral. We seek balance in all things, and therefore choose not to take sides in conflicts that do not concern us. The Borg, however, threaten everyone. My own world has been scarred by the Collective. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about how we can deal with the Borg when the conference convenes. Captain Curlin has a situation he must deal with immediately. I'm sorry to tell you the start of the conference has been delayed. I understand. I must find something to do with my free time. I had been hoping to spend some time in one of the Hollow Suites here. Several people have recommended them, and there is an historical holo program, the Matara Nebula, that I have been eager to play. Could you help me gain access to a holo suite? An hour or two would be more than sufficient. Let me see what I can do for you. There should be a way to get a reservation for you. Need something, friend? I need... To reserve a hollow suite for the Deferi Ambassador. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Look for a solid week. What if someone's willing to give up their reservation? A Ferengi without profit. All right, he's going to do it. You know this place sells a real deal. You can get sent to the hall if you want, but this stuff is great. It's my type, what are you doing later? Do you have a reservation? Yes, but he wants to see me later. Don't want to share it. Okay, it's not for sale. Alright, she's a little bitch. Hey there, man. Interest to use some self sealing stem bolts. Do you have a reservation? You do. Have they're for selling. Interested in making a deal? Okay, I can find someone to buy all of her stuff. I know just who to see. Probably going the other way. There we go. Greetings. I'm Captain Valkel Sean. I've heard a lot about you. It's good to finally meet. I'm glad there's someone else here who's faced the Borg in battle. We have a perspective the rest of these full-time diplomats don't. Do you need a large quantity of self-stealing stem bolts? How many do you have? My chief engineer has been looking for stem bolts for weeks. He wants to do some upgrades to the Belfast, and the Defiant class has always been a little touchy. 
Sometimes it's best to use what works, even if the technology's a little out of date. We've made inquiries with several traders, but everyone we talked to dumped their inventories after the speculation bubble burst. Some Ferengi out there made a small fortune a few months ago cornering the Stembolt market, but now that supply is gone. I was hoping to find some here, but so far I haven't had the chance. If you know of a source, my crew could make the upgrades we need without having to find an industrial replicator. Alright. Round and round it goes. All right, there's the deal is done. Need something, friend? Zara is willing to give me a house suite reservation. A wise man can hear profit. Now, what transfer fee? Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Ten thousand GPLs minor. Outrageous. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Are you insane? Alright, honey, sounds no good. Greetings. My name is Sarah, and I speak for the Detroit. That's your sweet. Wonderful. Greetings. You have My name is Sarah. I recently completed a diplomatic mission to Cardassia Prime. I must admit, I never developed a taste for Kanar, and so didn't feel the need to take a bottle with me. Oh. You had a Federation character. Need something, friend? You carry Bajoran to still Kanar? Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. In the right place, the order of the establishment was a long standing rule about Kanar. They keep a case of every minute available just in case the Kardashians want to take over again. These days, even most of the Cardassian visitors are drinking root beer. Just trying to fit in with Federation types, so they're, they're just collecting dust in the storeroom. Alright. Now I'll go back to Rogue and Skyle. I'm looking forward, if you will remember. Oh, wonderful! Gul Mavek will be so pleased with this gift. Thank you for your assistance. If at some point I can assist you in return, all you need to do is ask. Right. informed you would be here as well. Welcome to the home of your enemy. I recommend you listen to what Starfleet has to say, but never forget, this is not friendly ground. How fortunate. We have an opportunity here. There is time to gather valuable intelligence about Starfleet's operations on this station. You and I will be under too much scrutiny from Commander Andrew's little pets to accomplish much. Your crew, however, may be able to learn a great deal without anyone noticing. We are invited here in good faith. It will not be wise to jeopardize our mission by forcing my crew to place by. Sorry to trouble you again, but Captain Curlin is wrapping up the problem in the cargo bay, and we will be able to begin the talks very soon. 
I've notified the other attendees, but our opening speaker isn't responding to hails. Could you please track him down for me? Admiral Zavglach Trem mentioned wanting someplace quiet. You might try the upper promenade or the temple. Okay. My apologies, both to you and Commander Andrews. It's not often that I get some time to myself these days. Captain Curland offered me the use of his office, but I came here instead for some peace and quiet. Peace. It's in far too short of supply these days. I've been in Starfleet for a long time. I've seen more battles than I care to remember. But this one, there's no reasoning with the Borg. There's no chance for a nonviolent solution. I only hope that we can unite before they come for us. No one is safe. Welcome, everyone. I'm so pleased that you all agreed to join us here today. As many of you are all too aware, the Borg attacks are increasing. If they are left unchecked, Starfleet predicts that the entire Alpha Quadrant could fall within three years. We all must work together to push these invaders out of our space and protect our homes and families. I do not agree. My empire will stand, with or without your assistance. The Klingon Empire has never been stronger than it is right now. I dare the Borg to challenge us. Starfleet may cower in fear before a bunch of machines, but we do not. I'm sure what the esteemed ambassador from the Klingon Empire meant to say is that he hopes we are all so crippled by our efforts to stop the Borg, we will be no match for a battle-hardened Klingon fleet. I do not want to be assimilated, but I don't want to be a servant to the Klingon Empire either. The Deferi believe that all things must be in balance. We cannot counter the Borg threat if we ourselves are counter to one another. The Deferi do not wish to act against any of you. Therefore, should this meeting not reach a consensus, our best course of action is to not act at all. Starfleet will do what it must to protect the Federation. However, if you want our assistance, you need to be willing to protect yourselves and contribute to this campaign. The Borg will be stronger if any of your civilizations are assimilated. Starfleet's hard at work developing new technology and tactics. We, at least, will be ready. And if we can't cooperate, I hope you don't suffer. And that we develop new weapons in time. This is getting us nowhere. We came together in the spirit of cooperation. We need to find common ground. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Ambassador Skyle, Cardassia will be weakened if your government does not participate in this accord. Cardassia Prime is still rebuilding from the Dominion War. 
We have achieved a great deal in the past decades, but there is still much more to do. The continued threat of the true way makes progress difficult. It would be best if we reserve our limited resources. I will not weaken my world to defeat the Borg, only to become the victim of another power already here in the Alpha Quadrant. What about your family? What will happen to them if the Borg invade Cardassia Prime? I will protect my home until my last breath. My people do not need to be distracted by having to concern ourselves with all of you. Perhaps keeping ourselves separate is the best protection we could have. Rugen, without the help of the Cardassians, we will not be, we'll be looking for new homes, and those will not be safe from the Borg. I see your point. If we work together, we can spread the risks of fighting the Borg, while at the same time creating a unified force that is more likely to succeed. Cardassia's odds of survival will be greatly improved if we add our strength to yours. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Ambassador Stoss, the Klingon Emperor will be foolish to ignore this fight. Be careful. You are dangerously close to insulting the honor of the Klingon Empire. You talk about honor. Doesn't your honor require you to fight with all your strength against an enemy like the Borg? Do not presume to know what our honor demands. The Empire's pursuit of honor does not mean we are compelled to fight other people's battles. Is it honorable to hold back your full strength in a fight? Full strength? Ah, the might of the Klingon Empire can stand against the entire galaxy. Let them come. To defend against the Borg, you'll need to pull back all your forces to protect Kronos, the main world's empire, the other planets, even the Gorn homeworld will be vulnerable. Do not dictate strategy to me. I now, failed that one. Did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Master Sura, balance can only be preserved with the help of the fairy. Maintaining balance with all things must be our primary concern. This isn't about balance. This is about stopping the Borg before they assimilate our worlds. My world is one of. It is one thing. Okay. Now, Starfleet will do every under dire Starfleet. Let's take a. All right. Just want to run through that real quick. Tedious. There's something coming out of the wormhole. Captain, it's a Dominion fleet. They're charging weapons. Red of to get out of here. <gasps> it is time to leave. Evac protocol alpha. Andrews, get everyone to shuttles. Prep the Defiant for launch. I'll... Blast it. The Jemadar have cut off access to ops. Karen, you'll need to coordinate the evacuation. We'll get the delegates to the docking ring, and then I'll try to join you in ops. Let's get out of here.
Got to need you back on the ship. We'll hold position here as long as we can. But the Jemadar. Fleet is approaching the station. Alright. Warning, ship is under attack. Captain Kyrland, good to know that you and the delegates are safe. 
Jim Hadar have stormed the station and we're losing critical areas. The Defiant has launched and I've evacuated everyone possible, but a few of us stayed to- <coughs> Andrews? Andrews! Someone, answer me! What's going on? Captain, my name is Loris, and I represent the Dominion. This station and all remaining souls on it are now under our control. We have evacuated everyone we could to Bajor, and we're setting up a base there to coordinate our counterattack against the Dominion. I won't lie to you, though. It's not going to be easy. We were caught completely off guard by Karakhan and his fleet, and the Bajorans are none too pleased to have house guests. You proved yourself in the fight against the Dominion on DS9, and right now, I can use all the help I can get. Your government? has agreed to allow you to assist in our campaign, and we'll have a better chance of defeating the Jem'Hadar with warriors like you on our side. Transport down to our staging area on Bajor. You will find me there. Captain Kurland will join us as soon as he can. Okay. Welcome to the city of Hathon. Commander Masiga Chebe asked me to inform you when you had arrived. She's waiting for you in her office. Okay. This mission involves a lot of running around. Time is short. How can I help you? Do you need something? I'm here to help. No, I'm not going to do that.
I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Gotta find that changeling. Be over here. I'm here to help. Here to help.
I'm here. Do you need something? I'm here to help. Okay, now we'll see. Dora Militia, commanding officer. There has been a great deal of civil unrest here on Bajor. The loss of Deep Space Nine is reminding people of the dark days of the Occupation and the Dominion War. And while most people were pleased when Bajor joined the Federation, there were others who believed that Bajor should remain independent. And while it shames me to admit it, some people are upset about you and your officers being here on Bajor. While I know that the Prophets welcome everyone regardless of their species, I am afraid that there are a lot of dark feelings among my people right now. The people of this city need to remember that the Prophets are watching over them, and that everything that has happened is all a part of their great plan. I've been going through some of our texts to try to find a way to explain the will of the prophets. But there are many books, and I must prepare my sermon for the next service. Perhaps you can think of something we can do to restore faith in the prophets. Please, use my books. You may find something in one of them that will soothe my people's troubled hearts. Okay. We go through all these, get the achievement.
Why hath prophet seen fit to return the Gemini fleet to this time and place? You are not grateful. We saved Bajor at the Cisco's insistence. It cost him dearly. We moved the fleet, but we needed to put it back. A hand that remains closed ceases to be a hand. The fleet needs to exist as you must return. Okay, back to the Commander Achebe. I have new orders. I have new orders. No, I don't want double with Lita. Definitely don't want Ops. No. Not the Niners. Not Bashir 62. Not the security office. That one. Works. Now back to the Bajoran Militia HQ. Killing D Space Nine on an encrypted channel. Put it on screen now. Who is this? What do you want? Let's not be so hasty, Karukan. They obviously went to a great deal of trouble to contact us. I am Loris of the Dominion, temporary governor of Deep Space Nine. How can I help you? Thank you for agreeing to talk, Loris. I am Captain James Kurland of the Federation Space Station Deep Space Nine. It is my hope that we can find a peaceful resolution to this conflict. Of course, Captain. You want your station back. But this is a war. And your station is my prize. 
I know this will be hard for you to accept, but there is no war. It's been over for decades. Your fleet was diverted when you attempted to pass through the wormhole. The prophets... There is a great deal we have to explain, but please understand, we are not your enemies. I am not a fool, Captain. We have reviewed the records in DS9's databanks. Why should I believe this fantasy of prophets and time travel? Show me proof that what you say is true. Because the details of the treaty. The treaty that ended the Dominion War was signed by representatives from the Allied Forces and the Dominion on Deep Space Nine. This treaty established the end of the occupation of Cardassian space by the Dominion and the Breen. In addition, the Dominion agreed to immediately withdraw all ships and personnel to the Gamma Quadrant. You have a document, Captain. I have a fleet. And control of your station. I haven't heard anything yet that would persuade me to surrender DS9. Show that a founder was involved in creating the treaty. If one of the gods was involved in the creation of this treaty, then I would be compelled to honor it. However, I do not see this founder. Where are they? If you truly had the founder's support, one would be standing at your side. Is there anything we can do to convince you to leave DS9 peacefully? Enough! I will consider your arguments carefully, but you must understand that I am under orders as well. The Founders gave me specific instructions before I left the Gamma Quadrant. I accept that may have been many years ago. Nevertheless, mere time cannot countermand the commands of the gods. We are attempting to contact the Dominion in the Gamma Quadrant. As of yet, we have been unsuccessful. Until I speak to a founder and receive new orders, we will remain here. Deep Space Nine belongs to the Dominion. Oh, wrong button. If Loris and Karu Khan have been unable to contact the Dominion. Alright, this is where I'm going to end the stream for today. Everybody have a good day and I'll see you later.